is? Yeah. Open it. Are you sure that's a box car? Uh, no, it's a caboose. Let me see, hold it up. Hmm. What's it saying? Pennsylvania. Cool. Alright, what else we got in there, Brian? Uh, a coal car. Nice. What's it say on it? New York Central. Oh. I think it's sweet. Is it heavy? Kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, what do we got next? Uh, wow, that looks pretty old. Yeah, I think it's a caboose. Let's see if we can get it out of here. Maybe. There you go. The caboose? I think so. Okay. Is, that, is that one heavy? Nope. No. Is it metal though or is it plastic? Metal. Cool. Alright, dude, what's next? Uh, not sure. Kind of hard to open. <laughs> they packed some of them pretty good. Whoa. Oh. That thing's cool. Hold it up. That's oh, two of them. Nice. What are they? Uh, oil cars? Yeah. What's it say on the side? Sunoco. Sweet. All right, what do we got next, buddy? Let's see. Hmm. Lumber car. Nice. Oh, it's got the lumber on it, too. Yep. Nice, huh? Mm-hmm. Cool. It's got the lumber and the brake wheel on it. Awesome. Yep. What's the box say on it? The box you just took it out of. You can put it down next to you. The Lionel... Corporation. Yeah, what about on the end of the box? Number 651 O-Gage Lumber Car. Sweet. All right, what's next? Uh, I guess, uh, yeah, this is the last one. Uh -oh. Whoa. All right, that thing's cool. This is a box car, right? Yeah, definitely. What's the, the, has the sliding doors. Cool. What is the, uh, is that metal or plastic? Oh, metal. Uh, I think it's metal. Yeah. yeah. Um, what's the box say? Like on the end, like the last one. Number six, six, six five five O gauge box car. Nice. Mm -hmm. Alright, dude, what's next? Ooh, this one's heavy. Whoa. Wow. Alright, that's cool. Mm -hmm. oh. Is there a number on the side of it? Uh. On the front, maybe? 259E. It's a 259E? You gotta be kidding me. Alright, bring it over here a little bit closer to the camera. We gotta check this thing out. Nice, back it up a little bit. Cool. Side. Put yeah. Nice. Wow. I wonder if that thing runs. Let's see if we get a picture of that. That is awesome. Alright, cool. Alright, what's next? Oh, another another big steamy. A heavy one? Mm-hmm. Is it metal? Yep. Cool. Number one six five four. One six five four. That, that that might be a scout. Um, yeah, scouts are cool. All right, bring it over to the camera a little bit closer. Yeah, hold it down. Nice. Can you hold it from the bottom, like like put your hands in the bottom of it so we can see like the wheels and stuff. Nice. Oh, 
nice. Cool. All right, now flip it over so we can see like, yeah. All right, sweet. All right, dude, last but, last but not least, that's who we got. What's in this Whoa. attic find? Holy smokes. That thing's awesome. What's the number on the side? 2056. 2056. So 2056. Yeah, hey, bring it a little bit closer. Let's see. Uh, uh, dude, this thing. Wait a minute. What? Wow. Turn it up the other way again, Brian. It's a three window 2056. That is a rare engine. And I can't believe it's an attic find. So let's get these guys in the tracks and see if they work. Nice. Think, think it'll work, Bri? Mm-hmm. All right, let's check it out. Okay, train fam. So here is the collection of trains that we've got in the attic find. Um, let's see. We'll start right over here. We've got a what looks to be a uh, 259E which is a pretty cool little engine. I guess you could call it a Scout, but it looks it looks almost like a standard gauge engine, engine to me. Uh, it's got a little dent right there and the paint's chipping and stuff. And there's a little dent in the front over here. It looks like it was dropped a couple times. So I'm not sure if this one's gonna run or not, but um, you know, it's definitely not mint, but that's what you get in an attic find. It's still pretty cool though. Um, you know, it's definitely a cool looking engine. I've never seen one of these in person. So definitely cool. Uh, the next item is a Sunoco tank car. It's definitely in rough shape. Uh, one coupler is good. One coupler is not. But nonetheless, it's still a still a cool car. Uh, let's see. The third car we have um, a Pennsylvania caboose that's uh, actually in pretty mint condition. Um, it's metal, and I thought for at first it was a pre-war caboose, but it's actually, it's got to be a post-war because of the, the couplers that it has, but it's definitely cool. Um, it's got a pickup roller on the bottom, so it must light up, and I'm not sure if it will or not. We haven't tested any of these trains. The uh, next item is what looks like a, a older Scout. Um, it's got uh, a little bit more side rods than you'd normally see on a Scout. Normally you just see this one single one, um, but this one has the second one in the back, so a little bit more detail. And it's metal, so it's a metal sculpt. And the number is 1654. I'm going to have to look this one up. Pretty cool. Decent condition. The next item is another Sunoco tank car that's in a little bit better shape. Um, both couplers are in good shape. Paint's not too bad. Um, so yeah, this one looks pretty good. The, uh, the next item would be this, this is definitely a pre-war car. Uh, the coupler is broken on the end of this side, but on this side it's intact and I have it hooked up. Um, it's got all the lumber on it and the paint looks, looks definitely pretty nice. Um, these cars are pretty cool. The uh, next car we have is a, another pre-war car. It's a box car, Lionel 655, and uh, the paint's pretty good on it. The doors op operate, as you can see through. The trucks are pretty cool, and uh, yeah, this is a nice car. It's got the brake wheel on the top. And the last of the pre-war cars is, let's see here, it's a um, Lionel Caboose here. It's 1682. Decent shape. It's pretty uh, pretty cool how they have this little top, the cupola. It's funny how they they did that back in the day. So these these ones got the couplers on them. Um, definitely funky couplers compared to uh, you know the post war stuff. So the next item that we found is um, this New York Central uh, tender. And again, I thought this was probably a pre war car. Because I've never seen a post-war one look like this, but it does have it does have a post-war coupler on it, so it's got to be a post-war unless somebody changed that. And uh, the last item that I thought was really cool that Brian showed you earlier is this post-war Hudson. That's in decent shape. I mean, the the bell's still there. Um, it's got both of the, the front jewels. Paint's in a little bit of rough shape, but um, 
the cool thing about this one though is, i don't know if many people know this is i guess um, the three window hudson is definitely more rare than the four window and when i mean three window it's you got the big one here that's one and then these two little guys that would make three so um yeah it rolls it rolls pretty freely you know the side rods are all intact so um let's see if these guys run all right so the first one up is the lionel scout number 1654 and i've got my my good buddy brian at the helm at the Hi. zw controller so let's see what happens brian give a little bit of throttle see what happens oh let's see a little bit of movement a little more a little more oh yeah she's working nice keep going all right stop all right now you know what to do right we'll put it up forward She'll be in neutral. What? All right, that's neutral. Now back, and then forward again. Yeah, keep going. All right. All right, Bryce. So this one is the uh, the other scout that we got. Um, I couldn't find a tender to fit this one. It's got a kind of funky um, funky connector back there, but we're going to see if this one at least runs for now. All right, Bri, let's see. Give it some throttle. All right, that's not going to work. Let's see, do it again. Hmm, maybe the E unit needs to be adjusted. Now keep it off. Let's see. All right, try it again. Off, back. Oh, she wants to do something. Try one more time. All right, try it again. Back. Yeah, let me try one more thing. All right, try it again. Back. Again. Sometimes you're going to give him a little, a little help. Hmm. Let's see. The unit's working. Let's see. Right in the middle. Let's try. It doesn't want to work. Huh. Well, if anybody's got any tips or tricks for this little engine right here, um, let me know in the comments below. And we'll see if we can get this guy working. One more time. Doesn't want to work. All right. On to the next one. All right, Bri. Let's, uh, let's see this one. This is the Hudson. The 2056, it's with this tender right here that doesn't look like it belongs, but we're going to try it out anyway, so uh, give it some throttle. All right, that must be new, so we'll try again. Oh! There's neutral. Yeah, she's working. All right, give it some more throttle. Come on, baby. All right, let's back her up. Yeah, there you go, keep going. Nice, back her up. Oh. Whoa. All right, let's see if this, maybe the tender makes some, this looks like it's a whistle tender. Yeah, back it up a little bit. Yeah, all the way back. Back it up. Keep going.
Kickstart Try it again. Right, do the intro. Back up in front of the, uh, the nice trees right there. All right, cool. All right, neutral. All right, leave it like that. Leave the throttle up. Now push, push the, leave the throttle there. Now push the whistle thing up a little bit. Cool. Yeah, push it up. No, up. Yep. Yeah, keep doing it. Like let, let back a little bit. One more time. Three. All right, shut it down. All right, so these things, uh, they work pretty good. Um, we couldn't get the 259 to, to move at all, but this guy seems like with a little bit of love, we can get him working pretty smoothly. Um, I'm gonna try to get a tender for the pre-war cars. I believe these are pre-war. If you guys know anything about the history of these type of cars, uh, please comment below. So um, stay tuned for the next video, guys. And if you've still been watching this video, we're going to do a quick run-by of a new engine.